My name is Michael Chandler. I have a little shop in Cape Town where I sell ceramics, antiques, paintings, furniture, all kind of beautiful things from all over the world. I grew up on the Wild Coast and it's called the Wild Coast because so many ships ran aground and as a boy I remember finding blue and white shards in the surf. There's one gully where obviously the currents would bring the shipwreck bits of blue and white. As a child I didn't really understand what it was. And it's only later now with my interest in the Cape heritage that I really understand that those little blue and white shards were, um, were little pieces of the past that didn't make it to Europe, didn't make it to the Cape and I used to collect them as a boy and strangely it's kind of what I'm dealing with now. Before my residency I decided I would take the traditional VOC Arita dish which were imported to the Cape by the Dutch East India Company and make a really big one on paper and then what I thought I would do at the end after I'd completed it was I'd tear it up and make almost shards from the paper. It's kind of alludes to fragments of the past, pieces that survive. What I love about Cape Town is that it's got this, this history of trade and people exploring. So these blue and white plates were made for the Dutch East India Company by the Japanese and they would come to the Cape and they would be eaten off by the Dutch East India officials. Up in the mountain there's this beautiful river, you often find them there. You find them in areas of the Camps Bay, you find them in old parking lots of District 6, these open lands that are just covered in weeds. There would must have been dumping grounds once upon a time. I really enjoyed working with the Lumia on this project. The artwork was really big and so to have a phone with a really big screen really helped in capturing the image of the work and looking at it not as an artwork but as something different. It helped me get a bit of distance between working on this big picture and, and seeing what it really looked like. To be in this amazing apartment, it's been like a holiday. It's peaceful, it's an escape from the madness that is my normal life. I feel like I'm 10 years younger.